Hey guys, so we have a day today. We're in some shifting vibes today. First of all, we have the sun leaving the sign of Leo, moving into Virgo. This is definitely a shift in vibes, much more grounded, much more practical, much more down to earth, down to business energy that we're gonna be dealing in over the next four weeks or so. But the sun moving into the sign of Virgo is doing a couple things that could really be bringing some tension and could be triggering some fights, triggering some arguments, uh, some debates, some just hostility going on within interpersonal dynamics especially. The sun is going to be moving into a square with Mars. Both the Mercury signs from the sign of Virgo where the sun is moving today and Mars is in the very beginning of Gemini. It's going to set up a square in both the Mercury signs while simultaneously you have Mercury in a trine to Pluto today and we also have the moon coming into an opposition with Pluto in the sky as well today. Themes of power, themes of control, power struggles, and war of words. All of these type of things might be just sort of primed in the field today. We got a lot to talk about. Could be more of a tricky day. Let's get into the energy, look at the chart, and see how all of this might be playing out and affecting us today as we go through our experience. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today is Tuesday, August 23rd, 2022. My name is Aubrey, and this is your astrological outlook of the day. And if you guys stick with me till the end of the report, we're also going to be talking about some tarot cards that came out in conjunction with the astrology today, just so we can sort of tap into the energy field from more than one modality and get a better overall read, better guidance, more in-depth guidance in terms of, you know, what's going on and the best way for us to navigate this energy. And, you know, it's probably in our best interest to really look at that today because we do have, like I said, some pretty hostile vibes going on. We have the sun. Yes, we have the sun moving into the sign of Virgo today. Again, this is going to be creating a very palpable energetic shift. We are also in black moon energy um, because the moon is in the sign of cancer. The black moon currently is also in the sign of cancer. And when the moon comes into the sign where the black moon is or the sign opposing the black moon, this triggers and activates the black moon energy and the black moon represents our shadow side. Like our fears, our worries, our insecurities, our doubts are un in, in, in a way that's like very much so unconscious to us and also our subconscious programming and like our learned trauma responses and stuff like that. And where a lot of times we can get ourselves into sort of like self-sabotaging, self-sabotaging perpetual loops of action, behavior, and thought as a result of unhealed traumas going on within us and us sort of drawing and attracting to ourselves the mirror of the more like repressed unconscious fears and insecurities and doubts stuff within us. So it's really always trying to help us gain awareness of those more shadow aspects of our psyche and of our nature, but it usually does it in a way that actually draws those experiences to us and makes us relive them and play them out over and over until we can come to a point in time where we're like, okay, I get it. This is the problem. This is what's happening. This is what is causing this pattern to continue. And so that's basically, you know, what we're dealing with when we're talking about black moon issues. And twice a month when we have the moon coming into the sign where either the black moon is or the sign opposing the black moon, it's triggering these issues depending on where the black moon is currently located. Right now, the black moon is located in the sign of cancer. This is the sign of the home, the family, the community, the roots, the hometown, the origin, what happens behind closed doors, the womb and the mother. First and foremost, cancer also rules our intuition and our uh, ability to trust our intuition and to feel safe and secure within our own selves. Also safety, security and how we nurture and care for others, how we give and receive love associated with the Cancerian archetype where the black moon is right now. So if you take those themes and then apply the black moon energy, this can bring up when we have it being triggered each month, this can bring up a period of time where we are really, you know, maybe having some of these fears, worries, insecurities, doubts in regards to our ability to either give or receive love or to care for or support ourselves or others or to feel appreciated or to feel um, like worthy or to feel accepted and like part of the group and part of the home and to feel supported. And, you know, like we have like a good support system and we can, um, make it on our own. You know what I mean? Like we can trust ourselves to be able to make it on our own. Like that is also a theme that can come up in relation to these fears and stuff when we're dealing with the black moon. So we have that on the table today. Like first and foremost, we are in the couple days each month. The moon is in cancer. 
turning into black moon. Now the moon is also forming in opposition to Pluto today, bringing up some real serious themes of power struggles, power dynamics, but also perhaps like uh, an internalized transformational process that is underway right now as well. But we will get more into that as we get further through the report. We're going to be talking about Mercury and trying to Pluto today as well. But uh, the second like primary thing that we need to talk about today is the sun's entrance into the sign of Virgo. So Leo season is wrapping up. We are drawing to a close. The new moon in Virgo is going to be happening on the 27th, I believe. Today is the 23rd. And so, you know, we're just a couple days out from that. And so the sun is moving out of the sign of Virgo, preparing us for the Virgo new moon when the sun and the moon will come together in the sign of Virgo. But this is definitely a vibe shift away from the more like fun loving and entertaining like let's just go have a good time like celebrate and enjoy life like um just more wanting to just be like out and about and creative and passionate like just fun loving like basic leo vibe energy like the life of the party like really just wanting to be the star right um this is what we are uh, moving away from right now, and we're moving more towards the reserved, grounded, practical, down to earth, down to business. Let's get back on schedule. It's like we've partied hard and we sort of have like gotten everything out of our system, and now we're like, whoa, like I need to get reorganized. Like I need to sort of buckle back down. I need to get back on task, back on schedule. I need to be productive. I need to make some lists. Like I need to like, you know, make some plans, make some schedules, make some itineraries, make some lists. Like get some things done uh like engage in a level of productivity so that's where we're headed when we're headed into virgo season and virgo is ruled by the planet mercury so what mercury is doing throughout virgo season is of special significance whatever planet is ruling a sign when that sign is having its season we need to pay attention to what its ruler is doing what its planetary ruler is doing because it has a tendency to impact the way that the basic energy of this cycle is playing out so especially at the beginning and around the new moon and right now, Mercury is also in the sign of Virgo. Mercury is ruling Virgo. So this is putting a very, very strong emphasis on the mind, on this mental energy. But again, it's the more grounded, practical, down to earth, really trying to be like logical and rational and follow the rules and like by the book, detail oriented uh, mental energy about things. Like this is really trying to like get the ducks in the row and, you know, just re- uh like reorganize our lives okay when we have this virgo energy coming up and again this very strong mental emphasis there's like a big emphasis on the mind on information on uh things being correct and proper as well when we're talking about the virgo energy virgo is a more critical vibe because the sign of Virgo, like if you think about it, it's all about ultimately the harvest. Virgo refines things. Virgo takes like what is growing wild and crazy in the Leo vibe, like, you know, just the sun, like just growing and it like cultivates it and it refines it and it brings it to its like fullest, most perfect version where it can then be utilized for some purpose, right? When we're dealing with the sign of Virgo, like, one of the major archetypes and it's also the healer Virgo is also a sign of the healer and I feel like that is like a lot along the same lines of just being able to like take this energy like refine it down like see the details see the cracks see the fine print get rid of everything that's not like necessary for the best possible final outcome and then to harvest the final outcome and be able to use it for some type of practical productive purpose very practical very productive very much about like utilizing what we've cultivated, what we've grown for some type of purpose and bringing it to its fullest fruition. And so when we're talking about, you know, Virgo, the, the Virgo vibe in terms of also, cause you think about Leo, this is the sun. This is just like everything growing to its like heart's joy potential. And then Virgo really just like, you know, molds it into its like most beautiful and refined state refinement is a word that I think about a lot when I think about Virgo, but it's also this mental energy. Like it's also Mercury, like the messenger planet, ideas, thoughts, information, but just on a very practical, very grounded, like detail oriented, like dotting the I's, crossing the T's, making sure like our punctuation and our grammar is correct type of energy. And with though, 
That being said, and Mercury ruling the sign of Virgo for the sun's entrance into Virgo today, we need to look to the position of Mercury. Mercury right now today is at 28 degrees of Virgo, and this is forming almost an exact trine to Pluto actually retrograde in Capricorn right now from Earth signs. Pluto is at 27 degrees of Capricorn right now. Mercury is at 28 degrees of Virgo. So they're only one degree off of a trine. The exact trine was actually yesterday for the sun's entrance into the sign of Virgo. This is telling me that, you know, over the course of the sun's transit through Virgo over this next couple weeks, penetrating mind, looking deeply into things, secrets revealed, finding solutions, seeing the truth, seeking for truth, searching for truth, delving into the darkness to get to the bottom of things, like going to the root and being like almost intrigued to do so, like not being, you know, hesitant to sort of like look into the darkness to find what we've been looking for. This could also be a period of recovering things that have been lost in some type of a way or figuring out solutions to problems or ways to heal in some way that we may have overlooked before. This is discovering cures. This is finding solutions. This is discovering like, 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 uh, being exposed to secrets that have kept us from seeing the truth about something. And the ultimate impact is likely to be very, very, very transformative in terms of our viewpoint, our perception, our mindset, our attitude, our mental programming, and just the way that we are thinking about and perceiving reality generally. With the sun moving into Virgo and Mercury, ruler of Virgo, also in the sign of Virgo, his sign of rulership, forming that trine to Pluto, this is a period of, like I said, penetrating insight that is seeking out, searching out, delving into solutions, finding, getting to the bottom of things, seeking out the truth, going down into the depths without fear of what we might find there because we're ready. Like, it's like we're ready for the truth. Give me the truth. I want to find the truth. And that is what we are likely to be coming in contact with in some way throughout the course of this next couple of weeks. Now, that being said, this search for truth may cause a lot of conflicts. They could be conflicts going on internally within us, or they could be conflicts within our interpersonal dynamics, or even within like, um, within families and within siblings and stuff like that as well. But these conflicts are likely to be based on ideas on perceptions, on attitudes, and perhaps the things that we are discovering in this energy as well. The sun moving into the sign of Virgo today is setting up a square in the sky with Mars, the planet of fights, conflicts, war, battle in the sign of Gemini. So we have the sun moving into Virgo today, one degree of Virgo for the sun. Mars is currently at two degrees of Gemini. These are both mutable, mutable signs. This is forming a mutable square and we're only one degree off today. Actually, the 26th is going to be a crazy day. This is the day where the sun is going to form the exact square to Mars. And this is the day before the new moon in Virgo that we have coming up. So actually, you know, starting now and through the rest of the week, things could get a little bit dicey because of this sun Mars square. Now, first of all, if we're not even talking about signs, if we're literally just talking about the planets, the sun and Mars forming a square together, this can bring up some real serious ego issues because we're talking about the sun. This is our consciousness. This is our spirit. This is like who we, you know, who we are. And then we're talking about Mars. This is our ego. This is how we identify. This is, you know, our like pride in ourselves and everything like that. Coming into a square, there could just be some ego conflicts, ego battles, battles of pride, uh, like situations where there's two parties involved and both of them are not backing down and both of them are feeling like threatened by the other and there could be power issues and power struggles at play, but it's like neither side is going to really want to back down. And it's about information. That's the thing. Like th whatever fights or whatever disagreements are going on right now, it's about ideas. It's about mindset. It's about information. It's about perception on things, understanding, conclusions that we're coming to, opinions, and an over-identification with them. You see, See, in this energy, with Mars in the sign of Gemini, a lot of times this has a tendency to make us over-identify with our ideas, with our thoughts. And so it's like, 
If someone has a problem with our thoughts, if someone is criticizing our opinions or our viewpoint on something, we take that as a personal attack on us because it's like we can't separate ourselves from like uh, what we feel or what we think about like any given topic. And so it can just create this clash of ideologies essentially going on. And it speaks of quite a bit of like polarization as well, because Mercury also rules the twins. It also rules polarities and divisions and splits and dichotomies and things. It's like two polarized viewpoints that are very much like coming from an ego attachment coming to a head. And there's got to be some type of resolution. But this is like breaking point energy. But, you know, before I get any further, what I want to tell you guys is Uranus is going retrograde this week. Uranus actually tomorrow is stationing in the sky and on the 25th, I believe, is going to be going retrograde. So things are going to change. We've got some stuff coming that we don't see coming right now that is going to make adjustments to things that have been happening and changing lately. So we don't need to like get cemented into whatever is going on right now. That's another thing. The sun Mars square. This is a mutable square. This is happening in mutable signs. This is. It's not going to stick, if that makes any sense. Like this is more like like fickle energy. Like this is not like fixed, serious, long lasting energy. This is like things need to come to a head, but there's some type of big change that's pending that is involved in all of this somehow too that we're not seeing at this moment. So we may feel like very fiercely defensive over our ideas for one reason or another in this energy and like ready to go to war for it throughout the course of this week. But there's also a curveball, like there's also a wild card out there somewhere that hasn't hit yet that may be coming through at some point as the energy unfolds this week and Uranus goes retrograde and this is likely to be related to things that started around the 1st of August or the end of July. Maybe some big shifts or big changes that went on. There's likely to be some type of rearranging or something along those lines that happens as we move through this week. So we don't want to get too, too, too attached in this energy, especially today with this black moon energy going on as well, to any of these fears or anything or these complications or these fights or these conflicts. Like I said, like these are dissolving they're, they're in energy that dissolves. This is, these are the mutable signs. This is not energy that begins something. This is not energy that stays. This is energy that brings things to a head so that things can actually like fall away in one way or another. So it's like, you know, we don't want to get, things are not as they appear right now. I guess that is like a good way that I could like summarize what I'm trying to explain. But anyways, we've got this square going on both in Mercury sign while simultaneously Mercury is what forming the trine to Pluto. So ultimately, on the other side of things, this square between these two planets, things coming to a head like the conflicts, the breaking point energy with Mercury ruling both of the positions of these planets in a trine to Pluto. First of all, this is trying to break things down. This is trying to break down long standing established orders of things and structures and foundations that are no longer supportive of our mental growth and evolution that are no longer supportive of us being able to see the truth of about a situation. This conflict that is going on this week, that is playing out this week between the sun and Mars, the square from Mercury and Gemini, or from Virgo and Gemini, while Mercury's in trying to Pluto, is definitely about breaking down <laughs> what's not working, what is out of alignment with our authenticity, what is not supporting us and what we have been subconsciously surrendering our power to or attaching ourselves to out of any perception of lack inside of us that we are realizing now is not actually the truth. Anything keeping us out of the truth of our power and realizing and understanding that that is what this breakdown or this coming to a head or this breaking point energy with this square is about this week. Ultimately, ultimately where this is going is some type of healing, some type of regeneration of our minds, our thoughts, our understanding of the perception of our own power. This is actually trying to bring us back to a place of personal self-empowerment. And these conflicts also could be going on over these deep truths that are being exposed, either this revelation that we're coming to over like, wow, you know, like I'm a lot more powerful than I thought I was. And therefore, as a result of that, I don't need to submit to this situation anymore. And then poof, 
You know, the explosion that could come as a result of some type of scenario like that playing out. But, you know, we're, we're figuring things out, things that have been hidden from us, things that have been toxic or have been causing us to surrender our power, have been causing some type of subconscious conflict going on within us that we've been like accepting even though it's not right for us or it's been keeping us actively out of our power like these are the type of things that are shifting these are the type of things that are coming down and we're also talking about uranus active this week and uranus is doing the same thing uranus you guys uranus comes through and wipes the slate clean if you are not activating your gifts and your potential at this point in time the gifts and the potentials and the abilities and like the like authentic like seed or the authentic like light force within you in some way or another that you know benefits yourself in the greater good the greater whole as well like if you're not tapping into your creative potential at this point in time and figuring out you know what you can do to free yourself inside essentially and come back in alignment with your passions and all that like universe is gonna come through and uranus like will take everything until you have nothing left besides to do that but the minute you start doing that, you guys, universe will give you everything back times like a million. So that is sort of the lesson that is wrapped up in this as well. And it just sort of gives us a gauge on like what's going on with us. If you feel like you're still hitting the wall or like you just can't win or like everything is working against you, it may be because there is still something inside of you that you need to discover about yourself and activate and turn on and get in alignment with and like start embodying and living out of. And I, I promise when you make that switch, when you make that flip, when you get in alignment with that authentic vibration, everything will change. The world will stop working against you. And, you know, it's not to say that everything will be perfect because that's not the case. It's a constant process of, you know, checking ourselves and self-discovery and self-awareness and introspection and, you know, making spiritual connection and making sure our morals and our values and integrity and authenticity and all of that. Like it's a, you know, it's like a constant self-check situation, but the more in alignment with that that we can get, the more you'll start flowing with universe and things will come to you instead of having to like constantly fight, 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 fight. We are moving away from resistance. We are moving towards surrender and opening to receive in this energy, which is also you guys, we're in a two, two, two year. This year is trying to do everything that I've just been talking about. It's trying to shake us out of situations that are out of alignment with our authentic truth, that are keeping us out of our power, that are keeping us blind to the potential and the value that we hold within us. And when we discover that, when we activate it, when we cultivate it, when we get in alignment, with that the universe is going to open up for us and we are going to attract the people the relationships the circumstances the opportunities that are a mirror of what truly brings us that soul fulfillment that divine union that spiritual connection that soulmate type of energy this 222 year this is a very rare year also a transitional year into the age of aquarius it's all playing together but you know, on days like today, when we have this Pluto energy, when we have this Black Moon energy, when we have this mental energy that is pushing us to search for truth and breaking down the barriers and the structures that have kept us in self-limiting beliefs in the past, like that's really what this is all about. And, you know, we got to find a lot of stuff out in order to get there and be able to see what hasn't been working for us, what hasn't been good for us, what has been toxic that we've been attached to, that we've been surrendering our power to out of any blindness, right, to that value, to that worth to those resources within us that is what this energy is trying to show us and it may be in a very uncomfortable difficult painful perhaps even a little bit of like traumatic way but sometimes honestly like that's what is required in order for us to finally wake up and get it. So that is the name of the game from universe right now because we've got to like we've got to get in line in order to expand into our potential. This is a destiny activating phase right now. We are transitioning ages. We are shifting paradigms. We are moving into the age of Aquarius. And it is our, like we came to this planet at this period in time to make this shift happen. And if we're not doing that, we're going to get slapped around until we get on get on task and make that happen. So that needs to be our priority. And that is one of the uh, things coming through in this day today mentally transformative and an experience as well. This It could bring some mentally transformative experiences or we could just this could be going on within us, which could manifest in terms of it, it's like it's like chicken and egg, like the experiences might be what is rewiring our consciousness and our subconsciousness in this energy. Or there could be an internalized just rewiring of our subconscious energy that's going on within us that is resulting in some more experiences that are very transformative and reflect that process. So it 
happening simultaneously as within, so without, as above, so below, but there could be some very transformative experiences, encounters, interactions, conversations, dialogues today that are really like rewiring our mind in some type of a way. And this square also, like I said, it could represent an inner conflict that is going on between our conscious awareness and our ego, right? Mars in Gemini, our ego attachment to our ideas in the sun and Virgo, our conscious awareness of what we actually need to heal and what the truth of the matter is sort of coming to this head. So, and you know, they, there's like, there's a, a saying in wisdom that if there's no enemies internally, then we won't meet any enemies externally. So I feel like that is sort of a dimension of what is playing out. And we're likely to be rife with conflict right now. The sun and Mars, the two fire planets coming into a square, a tense, conflicting aspect. But it's for, squares are for some type of breakthrough into some type of resolution or evolution, both from the signs of Mercury, both from the signs of mind. This is a mental battle that we are fighting internally to overcome our lower our lower instincts essentially and rise into this higher more truth-based perspective and it may also be reflected in some very serious interpersonal conflicts again gemini is the sign of the twins the brothers there could be problems going on within like siblings and families and stuff at this period of time. However, you guys, I will say that Mars is going to retrograde in the sign of Gemini as well. And especially like any type of disputes or long standing separations that have been going on between siblings or within families or communities or interpersonal like friendship groups and stuff could uh, see some type of resolution over this next eight, eight month period as well. So it, it's kind of going both ways, but definitely as we are entering this energy with Mars being direct right now and, you know, all the sun, Virgo and Mercury, Pluto today, there could definitely be just this internalized conflict, this externalized conflict or this externalized conflict that is also causing this internalized conflict. This could also be conflict over rules, values, plans, thoughts, ideas, opinions, like I said, between siblings or within partnerships or within relationships and also like I said, some very, very powerful encounters, very transformative conversations, like all of this type of stuff, very, very likely the way that this energy is playing out today. And there could also be some very strong projection going on as well. Cognitive dissonance, mental issues that are like really playing out and causing some type of conflict could also be a feature of this energy, but it's all about what is going on in our head, especially today and for this next few days while the the uh, sun is in Virgo and Mercury ruler Virgo is also transiting the sign of Virgo. It's all about this mental energy. It's all about what's going on in our head. And it's funny, it's actually indicated as well through the positions of both the sun and Mercury today in terms of their Sabian symbols. We have the sun at one degree of Virgo today, of course, moving into entering Virgo. That Sabian symbol is in a portrait. The significant features of a man's head are artistically emphasized. And then we have Mercury ruling the mind, the head, at 28 degrees of um, Virgo today. A bald-headed man in uniform who has seized power. So by the position of the sun today, we're talking about actually like in a portrait, the significant features of a man's head are being artistically emphasized. Like the focal point is clearly the man's head. And then Mercury ruling the mind, ruling the thoughts, a bald headed man in uniform who has seized power. This to me is talking about, I mean, it could go a bunch of different ways. We may see this like literally playing out on the world stage in terms of like political, geopolitical stuff that's going on right now as well, because this is indicating a whole bunch of stuff along those lines as well. But in terms of like our own personal microcosm, like our own personal experience, this is also talking about who has seized power, regaining the power of our mind, taking back our power based on this Mercury trine Pluto, based on being able to see the truth of things, based on able to recognize that we've had the power the whole time and seizing it back. And it's in relation to this mental energy, this direct connection, like the crown, like understanding, like definitely talking about an emphasis on mental power, uh, the power of the mind, the power of the mental faculties, and our need to control our mind and to have power, like to have the mental power over our own mind so that our mind is not being controlled by someone else or some other narrative going through this period of time right now, which 
This new moon in Virgo, if you guys watched my August video, and I'm going to be talking more about this when I do my new moon in Virgo in a couple days, this period of time is very much energetically representing some type of information war that is likely to be going on. A battle of the narratives, battle of the mind, battle of the mindset, like really trying to, you know, very polarized perspectives, opinions, perceptions of things sort of pitted up against each other and vying for power. And it's very important that we are in a place grounded in our own truth during this time, that we are in a place of personal mental self-empowerment so that our mind is not vulnerable to be manipulated by these wars of words or these battles of the narratives that may be going on throughout this period of time. It's very important to be sort of grounded and rooted in our own personal truth and, you know, this Virgo energy and not allow ourselves to be uh, just like swayed or pulled by any particular perspective at this point in time if it's not like what we have come to based on like our own research our own study our own learning like this our own like fact finding like mercury virgo vibes like we need to be doing that for ourselves and not just allowing ourselves to be swayed by uh, the manipulation perhaps, or the gossip also gossip, slander, manipulation, all those type of things, definitely very viable when we have these aspects in this Mars and Gemini energy. So we don't want to be believing the rumors. We don't want to be, you know, contributing and playing into the gossip. We want to be really like rooting down within ourselves and like asking ourselves like practically, like really, like really, like, do I really believe that? Like, is that something that I really want to accept as like a part of my like body of knowledge or does this just not resonate with me and I'm just not going to entertain this concept right now and you're not going to get me on this one you know what I mean I just want to be careful caution Virgo is also a more like cautious sign so you know kind of slow kind of cautious not jumping to conclusions about things as well is probably going to help but the more introspective the more in alignment we can get with our own personal truth the better ability we're going to have to navigate the information war that is likely to be raining down around us over this next couple of weeks. But back to, you know, the Sabian symbols, all about what's going on in our head, this mental empowerment, taking back mental power, like just this very important to keep our mind right and to sort of, you know, not let ourselves get carried away with things and be very hot headed. That's another thing. Like, Mars and Gemini. Mars Mars also rules the head, actually, but Mars is the fire planet. It brings this heated energy, Mercury the mind, like hot-headed. Like we need to think before we speak. We need to think before we act. We need to do our best not to be just like super crazy impulsive in this energy. And also today, though, there is themes talking about having a very, very busy day today as well, which is not surprising because with the sun in Virgo now, ruled by Mercury and Mars and Mercury as well, or in Gemini as well. Mercury is a very busy planet. This is all about things to say, things to do, places to go, like lists to get done, like all that type of stuff, transactions, going back and forth, very busy energy today. And this is also reflected in the Sabian symbols. The earth itself today is at one degree of Pisces. That Sabian symbol is a crowded public marketplace. And Venus today also is at 15 degrees of Leo. That Sabian symbol is a pageant moving along a street packed with people. So there's generally likely to be a lot of people sort of like, out and about today, getting things done. Again, we're back in this Virgo energy. This is like, I would need to be productive to cross things off our list, to feel like we're getting things done, like to, you know, uh, just feel like we're on task, to feel like we're on schedule, to feel like our efforts are, you know, going towards the benefit or the payoff in one way or another. And so people are just likely to be kind of busy today, especially with those themes representing now uh, via the Sabian symbols. Now let's go back and talk a little bit more about Pluto in the context of the moon as well like i said we also you know we have this black moon energy today but we also have the moon in the sign of cancer going to be coming to an opposition with pluto so not only do we have mercury in the trine to pluto today while the sun moves into virgo and we have these two planets in mercury sign forming the square to each other really giving us this penetrating insight and desire to search for truth or to find missing things or like i said this could also create some type of resolution with something or could um bring something back that has been missing for a while 
while in one way or another. But with the moon forming the opposition to Pluto today, this is bringing up even more issues regarding power. Very emphasized today. Pluto rules power in all of its forms. The moon in opposition to Pluto is generally about our unconscious relationship to our own power and can represent sort of like the deepest and most powerful forces within our subconscious mind, having a stronger influence on whatever actions we're taking, our feelings, what's going on with us on any given day when this aspect is in effect. It's like normally things that we don't pay attention to and that are much more latent within us have a tendency of coming to the surface in this energy in regards again to our deepest and most powerful like the forces within us or our subconscious relationship to our own power and as a result of that having the actions on our behaviors and stuff like that it's hard in this energy it's hard not to act impulsively because we can really feel sort of like Comp uh, like obsessively or compulsively driven to do or behave or act in some type of a way when we have the moon coming in into an opposition with Pluto each month because again like it is bringing up this unconscious relationship to our own power and a lot of times people pick up on that too and it can create just like these power struggles going on also guilt jealousy possessiveness and a desire to control another's emotions can be indicated with this so we do want to try to refrain from that but you know we could also be sort of receiving that from someone else today so lots of issues going on with power today power in terms of our emotions reflecting on this unconscious power that we have within us power in terms of our mind a mental transformation being facilitated by a new perception or a new understanding or a new relationship to our own power. So on an emotional level today and on a mental level today, there is a force that is trying to bring us back to a state of self-empowerment, but it may be through some really uh, more difficult power struggles going on externally with people because you know when we're going through this process internally a lot of times other people unconsciously um, sense that as well and will do things to sort of repress or hold down or prevent that process from happening out of feeling like subconsciously threatened or intimidated in some type of way and then again here we have this square energy between mars and the sun the battle of wills the battle of egos these power struggles so very much so self-empowerment on one hand, very much so a breakdown on another hand because of things coming to a head because of, you know, the need to come to a place of self-empowerment and places where we've begin, be, been giving our power away in the past, not really being down with that, not feeling like that's cool, not really wanting to accept that and therefore maybe having to go to war about something or face some type of battle. Very powerful and profound emotional energy that we have going on for sure today. We've got the black moon, which is trigger, triggering our fears. We've got the sun moving into Virgo, making us feel maybe a little bit more critical and judgmental about the state of things as well. While we have the square to Mars and this attack attachment or over attachment to ideas and to thoughts and to understandings about things and simultaneously this trying with Pluto some really deep powerful transformative conversations coming in this breaking point energy that's coming to a head and the moon in opposition as well like maybe having to face some like very strong opponents to our process or our transformation or something along those lines coming up today. But again, you guys don't lose hope. Like we just need to persist. Like we just need to keep going because again, there's a wild card coming this week. There's something out of the blue that we don't see that's likely to be coming in and switching things for us in a way that we didn't anticipate. So what we really need to do is again, like, remember, this is a mutable square. This square is about dissolving things. It's not about a conflict that is likely to endure like forever into the future. This is breaking down what needs to be broken down so that we can personally come back to a sense of self empowerment that allows us to get back on track with the proper course of proper trajectory and activate our destiny, right? Like rise into our highest potential, get on board with this transition to the age of Aquarius, because like I said, like that's why we're all here at this point in time on an energetic level is to assist in this collective shift through the reunion with our spiritual truths, essentially, and beginning to embody them in this physical reality. So 
There could be, you guys, some very intense power struggles today that cause major conflict and totally change our mind about something, but it's for the purpose, ultimately, of helping us to grow in some type of a way that is actually beneficial to our ability to realign with our like authentic purpose moving forward. So that's what we have to say today, you guys, for the astrology. Let's talk about the tarot for a minute. We really got like a short, sweet, and to the point message today, which I feel like is good because there's just so much information we are likely to be inundated with, with this Mars, Sun, Mercury, Virgo, both Gemini, Pluto, Trine, Mercury, Square, like it's probably good that we're limiting uh, limiting the amount of information that we are getting from just one more place. But anyways, this message is basically saying one very simple, straightforward thing. First of all, we have the Nine of Wands coming out. Second, the Page of Swords in reverse. Third, the Ten of Cups, you guys. Fourth, the Emperor. And on the back of the deck, we had the Five of Swords followed by the Justice card. And so what this means, you guys, we just need to keep going. We need to not give up. We need to not give up hope. You see in this, this is the Wounded Warrior card. You see in the Nine of Wands, he's battered, he's banged up, he's bruised, he's exhausted, he can barely hold himself up. But look, his eyes are still looking upward. He is still looking to God. He's still got faith. He still has the endurance to keep going. Like this guy is going to keep going. And so are we. This is saying that we just need to not give up, not give up hope, not, not give up faith. Page of wands in reverse. Even though we have no freaking clue what's going on, even though we don't understand at all, even though we might have no clarity, even though none of this might make any sense whatsoever. And, you know, we just may feel like very much so like, in the dark about stuff at this point in time and just disoriented and not understanding and not having clarity and not knowing what to do next. This is saying we need to keep going because why? Ten of cups. It's going to be okay. Look at this card. Everything is going to be fine in the end. Okay. We don't see what's happening right now. We don't see where we're going. All we have is this blind faith to sort of rest upon. Right. But we don't need to know right now. What we need to know is that we need to keep going and not give up whether we can see it or not because good things are coming, okay? And then we have the emperor. This is self-empowerment. This is what I was talking about, this transformative process of and it, it also represents the sign of Aries. This to me is saying that like we are going through a period of time right now where we are coming back into a place of self-empowerment and that's where we need to be before we can really take any action moving forward. But whatever we don't see playing out right now, whatever is keeping us in a state of confusion or lacking clarity, it's because ultimately like it's leading to something that is going to make us feel extremely fulfilled and extremely empowered. And then on the back of the deck, we have the five of swords, which generally isn't that great of a card. It's about stealing power. But in this context with justice underneath, this to me is about restoring the balance of power in our lives, in our relationships. Like we are taking back our power that may have been stolen from us and it's rebalancing things. See, we got the swords. This guy's taking back his swords over here. And then this justice card is holding his sword high and things have been rebalanced. Things have been like justice has been served, like fairness has been restored and stuff like that. So I feel like, you know, what we need to know right now in the context of everything that's playing out today is we need to not give up because we are we don't see it right now. It may not make any sense, but we are headed toward a period of fulfillment and self-empowerment where we are actually going to be taking our power back and the scales are going to be rebalanced. Justice is going to be served and um, things are just going to be in a much greater state of balance and harmony in our lives. And we had the ton of cups, you guys. This is one of the best cards in all of the tarot. So we don't need to worry about the fact that we can't see where we're going right now. We just need to not lose hope, not lose faith, and, you know, keep up our endurance. Keep going, not give up. We need to not give up at this point in time. 
and trust the process because it's leading us somewhere very beautiful, very fulfilling, and very self-empowering in a way that is balanced and harmonious internally, externally. So let's grab one more card now, you guys. This is a synchronicity card. Let's see one more message from God, Spirit, Universe that can benefit us as we are uh, going through this energy today, which again, it definitely could be just another tricky day. Let's see what it says. Drink of inspiration. I don't even know that I've gotten this card before. Uh, it says, drink of inspiration. As cold water to a weary soul, so is good news from a far country. Proverbs 25, 25. You thirst spiritually when you lack joy, peace, inspiration, and confidence. Claim the living waters of the Almighty flow through you as wisdom, truth, and beauty, and as joy, harmony, power, and love. Accept this as your own, and you will then draw from your spiritual waters all you need to give sustenance to your soul. So <laughs> this is a really deep message, and honestly, in the context of Mercury trying Pluto today, right, and the sun opposition. Pluto, I feel like this is exactly on point with the way that we need to sort of be mentally and emotionally geared today in order to make the most of this energy and to reap the most transformative inner benefits of what this is trying to do for us in its pursuit to bring us back to that place of self-empowerment. So that's what we have to say today, you guys. Message from the stars, message from the cards. I hope you guys liked it. If you did like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you think that they would be interested and like this kind of content too. Um, I have a Facebook page, a Facebook group, a website, and some other social media in my description box below if you're interested in any of that. Also, you guys, leave me comments. I love your comments. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, and come back with me tomorrow, you guys. You're in a stationing retrograde. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens over these next couple of days. You're in a stationing tomorrow, moving backwards the day after that, and then we have the exact Mars, Sun, Square. Mercury is going to be changing signs. Uh, Venus squaring Uranus, lots and lots of business coming up this week, but things, we got wild cards coming. So I'll be here. You should be here too. You don't want to miss it. And I will see you then. Everybody have a beautiful day and until tomorrow. Bye guys.